If you drive your car on a racetrack, one of the most important things is getting your car stopped. And I'm going to show you right now the differences between what I think the two top brands of brake pads to be used on a racetrack. Pagod, which is a German pad, and Endless, which is Japanese. In my opinion, these two are the absolute cream of the crop when it comes to racing brake pads. Hi, I'm John Ruther, owner of North Star Motorsports in Chicago. At North Star, we are the original racing resource where we sell performance racing and safety equipment. We are the largest distributor of Pagod racing brake pads in the country and we have uh, a very strong relationship with Endless and that's a relatively new line for us but I'm very excited about their products. I'd like to talk to you about the differences between these two companies and their philosophies on making brake pads. Um, Pagod has uh, in their product line about 22 different compounds that they make and they make them for virtually every sports car or performance car that could be driven on a racetrack. Um, Endless, on the other hand, has a much more uh, extensive uh, list of products in their racing brake pad line. They have over 35 different compounds. Some of those are um, very specific to niche markets. Others are used more commonly. North Star, when we developed our relationship with Endless, we got them to give us an exclusivity on some brand new brake pad compounds. So you can't get them anywhere else, and North Star is very excited about these pads. I like them a great deal. Both of these companies make pads specifically for different types of racing. Endurance racing needs a brake pad that will last a long, long time, be easy on rotors, and um, stop the car consistently for 12 hours long, maybe even 24 hours long. Sprint race pads or rally pads, those are pads that you want them to perform absolutely um, at the top of their game for the entire event. But those events are very short. They might be an hour. They might be an hour and a half. They're not 12 hours. So you can use completely different compound strategies when you develop a pad that will work in that environment. The other thing is many people drive their car to the racetrack and drive the car on the racetrack with the pads that are in it. It's kind of a combination brake pad. You really can't have the best of both worlds, but Endless has figured out how to do it. They've got a pad that is an aggressive street brake pad, and yet it works very well in moderate uh, brake um, performance on a, on a racetrack. Um, Pagod doesn't do that at the moment. Um, I think they're working on something like that, but they haven't come to market with it yet. But those pads are really interesting in that they don't make a lot of noise on the street and they don't throw off a huge amount of dust, which are the two negatives to any racing brake pad that's used on a street environment. So both of these companies make pads that will work um, in a multitude of different environments. There's one other big difference between these two pads. Pagod has what they call a dual retention system which holds the pad compound to the backing plate. What they've done is they actually, this is a raw backing plate, they've actually welded these brass studs to the backing plate and those are those actually grip because they've got threads on them they actually grip into the compounds material that's actually applied on top of it so it's physically impossible for the compound to delaminate and come off the backing plate they also apply a, a an adhesive to the backing plate so that it's got both adhesive that's holding it as well as these brass studs now you say what happens if I wear my brake pads down into the studs well, the studs made out of brass. Your rotors are made out of steel or iron. Uh, the brass is way softer. It's just going to wear away as you wear the brake pad material away. But this will ensure that you're never going to have a delamination of a brake pad compound off of your backing plate. Endless, on the other hand, has developed a, a strictly an adhesive system of holding their brake pad material to the backing plate. But it's a brand new proprietary uh, brake pad adhesive, and it does work. Is it as good as this? I've never seen an endless pad delaminate, so my guess is it's pretty darn good. Um, but the two companies have just different philosophies of it. And oh, by the way, the Pagod one, they've got a patent on it, so nobody else can actually copy what they've done. Um, the other thing I'd like to talk about, both of these companies have their own proprietary brake fluids that they make. Um, very, very similar in terms of performance. 
Uh, these are extremely high temperature brake fluids and um, they're run in the uh, 600 degree range or a little over 600 degrees in a dry brake fluid test and they run right around 400 degrees or a little over 400 degrees in a wet boiling point test. So they're both very similar. Uh, Pagets happens to be a little less money than Endless. Um, there's another factor that I always consider, but they don't really test it. That's compressibility. When a brake pad gets really hot, sometimes it's more compressible and your foot feels the pedal getting a little soft. That's not real comforting to a driver who's going into a corner and he's got to shed 100 miles an hour or he's going to crash the car. So it's really important that the driver has absolute confidence in the brakes and that they're going to be there when you need them. So I'm a real big fan of brake fluid that is absolutely very good on compressibility. And I would say that in my opinion, Endless has figured that one out. They do a terrific job on compressibility and it really does work. Oh, by the way, Endless is used, it is the brake fluid that Mercedes Formula One team uses. So you see Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas, those cars are running Endless brake fluid, RF650. Um, not only that, but Porsche has switched uh, suppliers for factory brake fluid on all of the factory built Porsche race cars. It, they now come with Endless RF650 in the master cylinder. So. There are more than a couple of examples of people that really like this brake fluid, and I will tell you that in my opinion, these two are great brake fluids, but I especially like the brake fluid from Endless. Um, if you have questions about uh, any of these brake pads, I'm happy to talk to you about compounds for your car, for your applications. Just give me a call at 847-304-5515. Be happy to talk to you. At Northstar, not only have I been racing for 40 years, but all of our staff are experienced racers, and we can talk to you about um, exactly what it is you may need for your race car in terms of compound selection, availability of pads for your particular car, and so on. So. Uh, Give us a call at 847-304-5515. Uh, Go to our website. There's a ton of information about brake pads on there, as well as a quick application guide. Uh, the, the address is northstarmotorsports.com. Or come into our store. We're happy to talk to you about brakes or any other safety equipment items you may need. We're located just about 45 minutes northwest of downtown Chicago. Thanks so much for watching. Look to talk to you soon.